Check it out, man. Gutted. Playing in the background. Bunch of guys have been showing this, man. Of course, my old CD players tore up. This one came with an OV. Upside down OV there. I'm streaming it, man, because my CD players tore up, but I wanted to show y'all the CD anyway. There's that killer art there. SV Bale did the art on this thing. Uh, just killer, man. Just killer Midwest death metal. Uh, Bleed for us to live is the name of this in 1994. This one come out on Red Light Records. This is actually a reissue uh, from 2021 on Repulsive Echo Records. Um, Toledo, Ohio, death metal. They had some uh, couple demos out in the early 90s, like 92, 93. Uh, then they put this out, and then they had a self-titled in 97, and that was it, man. But what they did put out was killer, and you can hear it in the background, and I think you will agree. Super, super stuff. Got some CDs I want to show you. Most of these came from Dark Descent. Had them here for a couple months, but I just want to share them with you guys on a Friday night. Check this one out. Just before dawn, Stockholm, Swedish death metal, man. This one came out in 2017 on Dark Symphonies. This is actually a comp. Um, super cool stuff. Cover art there by Mark Nider Hageman. Uh, Ten tracks on this one. About 58 minutes of music. Cool booklet, man. All that good stuff. This guy's been at it since 2012, man. Every time I see some of their stuff, I try to pick it up. They got five full lengths and a handful of EPs. All of it is just quality stuff, man. Just quality death metal. Um, I'm sure uh, if you guys are into death metal, you've heard of Just Before Dawn, but cool stuff. Not a must-have, but if you find this one at a good price, this is a pretty good comp to have. Um, the next band, man, is uh, some stuff a whole lot of people, uh, you don't see a lot of it. I think maybe that's a little bit too loud. Not for me, but maybe for to be heard over anyway. Um, let's see. I went ahead and took these out where you can see. This is Headhunter DC. The DC stands for Death Cult, uh, Brazilian death metal. The name of this was is In Holy Morning. Um, uh, five piece band, man, you get 10 tracks on this one. Uh, 53 and a half minutes of music. Comes with a thick booklet, man. I won't thumb through all of it, but it's got some killer live footage on there. Man, just quality stuff. Uh, like I say, this is their fifth full length. If you're not familiar with these guys, um, it's uh, it's hard to describe what they do, but what they do, they do it well. Excellent musicianship. You've got some some guitar solos in there that almost sound like traditional heavy metal solos, but then they got that some blasting drums in there. The uh, vocals are just killer. Reminds me sometimes there's something about them reminds me of uh, Peter from Vader. It's got some, it slows down, has some doomy parts, speeds up, it's got some blasting parts, mid pace for the most part, but just excellent musicianship. Uh, like I say, this one, 2012, came out on uh, Mutilation Productions. Uh, killer stuff. The other one I want to show you uh, was their, I picked this one up while I was there, was their. 2007 this one came out on dying music uh, this is God spreading cancer and this is a 2009 reissue or 2017 excuse me reissue on Ibex moon records again thick booklet shows a bunch of uh, cool band folks uh, photos this one you get 11 tracks over 53 minutes of music Excellent stuff, man. If you hadn't heard of Headhunter DC, Headhunter Death Cult, Death Metal out of Brazil, excellent musicianship, man. Check them out. Uh, like I say, I picked these up at Dark Descent and was glad to get them, man. Cool stuff. Check them out if you haven't. Uh, another couple CDs from a band that 
you just don't see a whole lot of on uh, on YouTube. Let me see what order I got them in. Well, it don't really matter. That's Van Hill. And this one, Temple of Phobias. Uh, I got my notes out of order here. This one came out in 2016 on Pulverized slash Dark Descent. Uh, you see the uh, the tracks, there's half of them in uh, English and half of them's in their native tongue. This is Swedish band, man, death metal. Uh, the, I don't know if you can see that art there. Matthias Spriss did the art. Uh, four piece on this one, man. I don't mind these digi packs. A lot of folks don't like them, but I kind of like them. Get the little booklet in here. Another shot of the art. She's got the tracks and the lyrics in like a book form. Some of them are in English, some of them are in their native tongue. So if you're not familiar with these guys, it's uh, like it's blackened death metal with a doomy edge and it's almost got a I guess it's in the atmosphere in the tremolo picking sometime it's got a uh, that, that that really black and dark atmosphere but uh, just quality stuff um, ferocious vocals man if you hadn't heard these guys you need to check them out and form your own opinion but this was killer man and this is uh, their fourth uh, full length out of the five they got out that's number four and while I was there I went ahead and picked up the other one that was available comes in the same format uh, and this is their fifth and latest full length Diamos Sanctuarium and again you see uh, part of the tracks are in English part of them is in their native tongue this is 2018 pulverized and dark descent same artist on the same inside is the uh, pretty well the same stuff still a four piece you get seven tracks on this one a little over 44 minutes of music but like I say if you hadn't heard of these guys uh, I'm sure you've seen them in the distros and, and um, probably more than likely been like me just hadn't picked them up but if you haven't I'm, I know Roger has Roger's heard of these guys because I think he was telling me about them but uh, cool stuff don't miss out on this if you hadn't it's not the run-of-the-mill chuggy chuggy death metal like this is that I love this stuff in the background this is more of uh, that modern sound with that tremolo picking that European sound uh, I really don't know how to describe it but uh, you when you hear it you'll know what I'm talking about great stuff now Cody's in Spain so I had to show some Spanish death metal let me pull this thing out here man check it out intolerance Scent of the berry. I ain't scent of the berry. That's a oh man. Dark paths of humanity. 2022 uh, out on Memento More. If you're a CD enthusiast, uh, if you like cassettes, uh, Gods of War did the cassette. And uh, if you if you can get the vinyl, and I would love to have the vinyl. FKR Records did the vinyl. Um, CL Artworks did the cover art. Like I say, Death Metal out of Spain. There's the young lads there, a four piece. You get eight tracks on this one, almost 39 minutes of music. Uh, this is their debut full length. You remember back in 2020, they had that EP Laments from the Dripstone Cave, which I loved and couldn't wait to get this one. Kind of held off on getting this one because I was hoping I could find me a vinyl copy, but. Uh, went ahead and picked it up when Dark Descent had that sale a while back. Superb, man. The vocals are just perfect for this. Uh, cavernous. I hate to use that word cavernous. It does sound like it's back in a cave a little bit. Just the right amount of mud in the uh, production. Man, these guys are superb. I hope Cody can catch these guys live while he's over there on their home turf. Superb. Check them out if you have an intolerance. And last but not least, some more Swedish death metal. Uh, this one I'm sure most people will recognize right off the bat. If you're a fan of the HM2 style death metal, this is interment. Interment, however you say it. 
This is Sin of the Buried, you see there at the bottom. Check out that art there by Juan Joe Castellano. Um, crazy good stuff here, man. There's the lads there on the inside, four piece. You get 10 tracks on this one, almost 40 minutes of music. And the inside of this thing is filled with some killer art as well. Check that out. Uh, this was their second full length. HM2 goodness. Oh man. Uh, if you're a fan of Swedish death metal, uh, you know what you're getting into. You won't be disappointed with this. Superb stuff. This one also came out uh, on Dark Descent and Pulverize. There's the track listing on the back. Cover art here, or excuse, not cover art. The art on the CD is by a different man. Uh, I think his name is Vaeda Hydkova. I think is how you say his name. But superb, man. Just great stuff. And that winds me up for my CDs, man. I hate rushing through them in such a, a blur, but I running late and I had to get it done man got a lot of things I got to do this weekend and I needed to get this out I appreciate y'all man I'm trying to catch up I know it's that time of year a lot of people's doing end of year list I watched a uh, list today where a guy was talking about his top five EPs of the year uh, of course Cody's not here but I will be doing an end of the year list uh, but it, mine will probably be full length and um, of course I won't rank mine but I will try to give you I don't know how many, but um, some of my favorites of the year, some things that uh, maybe not everybody has heard of, you know, not so mainstream, some things that you may want to consider purchasing for look good under the tree, brother. I appreciate y'all. Thanks for watching.